According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bees don't care what human think is possible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello, Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. All A perfect report card. All Bs. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Oh, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those are very awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a mustache looks good. Hey, hear about Frankie? Yeah. You're going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everyone knows. Sit. Everybody knows. Think someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are B men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished Bs. Please welcome Dean Buzzwell. Welcome, New Hive OT graduate class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Hunex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just the orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like, a little scary. Welcome to Hunex, a division of Honesco and a part of a hexagon group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to this point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is a colored, is automatically colored corrected, scene adjusted, and bubble contoured. Into the, into the, what? Into the, oh my god, I can't read. Into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow, as you know as, honey. That's, <laughs> Oh my god. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Hunix, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress sensing as a hue helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. What does that do? Oaches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it, saves us millions. Can you Anyone work on the Krellman? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, is, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job for the, because <laughs> you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job, the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have one... Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, Adam, <laughs> how, uh, how, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We are bees. We are the most perfect, f perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please, please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force approach. Wait a second, check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey jocks, hi jocks. You did. You guys did great. You're monsters. You, <laughs> you're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they are. I don't know. Their pla Their days are. Their days not planned. Outside the hive, flying. Who knows where? Doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You need to be bred for that. Right. Look. There's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps b unless you're wearing it. And the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't they your cousins too? Distant? Distant? Look at these two. A couple of hives, Harry. Let's have fun with them. It must be it must be dangerous to be a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against um, a mush- um, Okay. A mushroom. He had one paw on my throat and the other he was slapping me. Oh my! I never thought I'd knock him out. 
what were you doing during this? Uh, uh, trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrade? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 0900 at, G at J gate. What do you think, buzzy boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, honey. Dad, you surprised me. You, de you decide on what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about steering. You grab the stick, and you just move it around, and you steer it around, and you get yourself, you get yourself into your, a rhythm. It's an absolute beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field isn't just right for me. It just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure what he wants to go into, honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You are not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the steerer? You're gonna be a steerer? No one's listening to me? Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antennae, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth and call everybody. What's up, dog? I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today. Today's the day. Come on, all the jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bee pouring, steerer, front desk, hair removal. Is that still remember? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. what do you get? Picking crud out stellar? Wow! Couple of newbies. Yes, our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You wanna go first? <laughs> no, you go. No, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendance open? Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. Wax Money's always open. Wax Monkey's always open. The Krellman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Making an opening? See? He's dead. Another dead one. Dead? Deadly? Deadified? Two more dead. Dead from the neck up? Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunty pourer, steer. Humming, inspector, number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, might wrangler, Barry. What do you think I should? Barry? Barry! All, all right. We've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out where? Out there. Oh no! I have to go before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy? Hello? Another call coming in. If you're brave enough, there's a Korean deli on the 83rd. Hey, that's that gets the roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay. Lo. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you got a rain advisory today. And you know all bees... And you all know bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful as always. Watch your brooms. Hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports on of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. It's like babbling like sis kick sisida. That's awful. And a reminder for your rookies. B law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. Alright, launch positions. Buzz 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 black and yellow. Hello. You are you ready for this? Hot shot? Yeah, bring it on. Wind check. Antennae, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts? Check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias. You striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is a blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees, roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's, it's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, maybe a dash over here. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's a po that's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers. More nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up right now a bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual.
Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say that again. You're porting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemical. E. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain. Get off of here. Problem. <laughs> Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. A mama's little boy. You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey. Because you're about to eat it. Yow, sir. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back there. He's going to sting me. Don't buddy move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze! He blinked. Spray him. Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't, in can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Main day. Main day. Be going down. Ken. Can you, can you close could you close the window please Ken could you close the window please check out my new resume I made it into a fold out brochure you see folds out oh no more humans I don't need this what was that maybe this time this time this time this time this time this drapes that was diabolical it's fantastic it's it got all my special skills even my top 10 favorite movies what's number one Star Wars nah I don't go for that kind of stuff no wonder we shouldn't talk to them they're out of their minds when I leave the job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. Their son, maybe that's a way out. I remember the son having a big 75 on it. I predicted global harming. Global warming, not global harming, my bad. I could feel it much hotter at first. I thought it was just me. Wait, stop, a bee. Stand back, there are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying, all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure! There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week? Yogurt night? Sure can. You know, whatever. You could put carob chips out there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Nah. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't. Come on. Yes, do it. Yes, yes. No, yes, no. Do it. I can't. I just said that really wrong. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's good. Here, co here she comes. Speaks, you fool. Hi, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming. But don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. Disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. And this is not supposed... To, and I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to just thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, you are. I'm talking to a bee. And a bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, honey. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, dada, honey, you'll pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we'd have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't mean, I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to pull you. I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. It's I can't hate to compose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you're anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up, steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, watermelon? I thought you just said guatemelon. What the heck? Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I feel how I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I want to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. 
our new queen has just been elected with the same captain sl with the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there there's my hive right there. See it? You're in sheep me down me down? Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way. I know that an area I know that area. I lost the toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You alright, ma'am? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. So I could finish it. If I did, I'd be up here for the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. Alright. When then? I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And again, thank you so much again for before. Oh, that, that was nothing. Well, nothing. But anyway, that can't possibly work. I'm gonna get water. One sec. I have arrived from the water. Let us continue. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We might, we may as well even try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was scare. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they, like, huge and crazy? They talk crazy? They eat crazy giant things? They drive crazy? Do they try to kill you, like on TV? Some of them, but most of them don't. How do you get back? Poodle, you did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you gotta pick your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Was she bee-ish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it was the hottest thing, but with the eight legs and all, I can't get by that face. So who is she? She's human. No, no, that's a B-Law. You want to break a B-Law? Her name is Vanessa. Oh boy, she's so nice, and she's a florist. Oh no, you're dating a human florist! We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and an M80s. One eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so st stingy and stripy. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. So you know what cinnamon is? No, it's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We are us. Where there's us. And there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B. My friend, thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions, th decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything all set. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa! We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you won't, don't listen. I'm not thinking to th I'm not thinking to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going, my friend? I'm meeting a friend. A girl. Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I hope she's bee-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that is, at every florist's stream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No. All right, I've got one. How about you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. TiVo. You just, did you just... You can just freeze live TV. That's insane. You don't have that. We have Hivo, but it's a disease. It's horrible, horrible disease. Oh my. Dumb bees! You must want to sting all those jerks. We, we try, we try not to sting. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. 
so you have to watch your temper. Very carefully, you kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust? Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, what's wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anyone. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save cir circular? Yeah, it was you. How do you know? It fell about, like, 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got down to a science. I lost the cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What the name of Mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Outy B Golden Blossom. Ray Liotta, Private Select? Is he that actor? I've never heard of him. Why is he here? For people. We eat it. You don't have enough food for your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know. Who makes it? And it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman for that thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is just stealing. A lot of stealing. You have to in our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He's here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I know. I heard something. So you can talk. I can't talk. I know you start talking. Where are you getting this sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be launched for my Iguana Igancio. That was a voice crack. My bad. Where's our honey coming from? Pop pop. Tell me for where. Tell me where. Honey forms. It comes from honey forms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never knew what hit them, and now. I've been doing this for 20 minutes, I think. They're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Where you headed? Where you headed? To honey farms. I am onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Boost blood, crazy stuff, blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. Tacoma. And you? He is really dead. Alright. Uh oh. What is that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade? Triple blade? Jamon. Jump on. It's only your chance, B. Sorry. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I am Oral Cassell. Excuse me. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose Blood Guy. You hear something like what? Just making sure I'm recording. Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Just a new... Just a row of honey jars, as far as the eye could see. Wow, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey is ours. Bees, hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito? Are you in trouble? Nobody likes us. They just smack, see a mosquito, smack, smack. At least you're out of the world. You just, you must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up, get them, get with a moth, dragonfly, mosquito girl. I don't want, I don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, moose blood. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. And you bring your crazy straw. We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and that's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A beast got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead? Check out th the new smoker. Oh sweet. This, that's the one you want. The thumb is 3,000. Smoker? Nine, 90 puffs a minute, semi-automatic, twice the nicotine all the tar. A couple of breaths of this, knock them right out. <sighs> they make honey, and we make the honey. And we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money? Oh my, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen! <sighs> Trying to get comfy. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is being bra brazen... Brazen... What? Can't speak English. Brazenly stolen on a massive scale. I'm finally halfway. 
This is worse than anything, Barris, I've ever done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are talking our honey? Taking a honey. That's a, that's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. How do you get mixed up in this? He's talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend, and they make out. Make out? Barry! We do not! You wish you could. Who side you on? The bees! I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than the bees. Dad, I remember you coming cu coming home. So overworked. Your hands, your hands were still steering, you couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye. That would hurt. No, up the nose. That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. One place where it all matters. Oh no, please don't tell me where it is. Hive at five. The hive is only full hour action news source. No more bee beards. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk, weather with Storm Stinger, sports with Buzz Larvey, and Jeanette Ong Chung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bundle, and I'm Jeanette Chung, a, a tri-country bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on B. Larry King, we'll have three former queens in here, here in our studio discussing their new book. Classy ladies. <sighs> At this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Do you ever think I'm a kid? From the hive, I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about B Columbus? B Gandhi? B Jesus? Where I'm from, we'd never see humans. We were thinking of stick balls or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case. Which will be the trial of the bee century? You know, they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's cute. It's a common name. Next week. He looks like you. He has a show in suspenders and colored dots. Next week. Glasses quotes on the bottom from the quest, even though you just heard them. Bear week. Next week, they're scary, hairy, and here live. B always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Oh, not 69. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him stew the human race. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland size. Ten and a half Vibram soul. I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go. Because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult, you poor thing? You two have been at this for hours. I've been at this for 30 minutes. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting? How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloons boquests now. Boquests now. Those are great if you're three, and artificial flowers? Oh, those just get me psychotic. Psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben Stinger's pointless pollination. I'm gonna drink water. Beast must hate. Beast must. Beast must hate those fake things. I can't speak. Nothing worse than a daffodil. Daffodil. That's hard. That's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to. To say, honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. Honey, I'm home without paying royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where the world anx anxiously waits because 
for the first time in history, we will hear ourselves if a honeybee can actually. He, we, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee could actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's a pretty big. It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think a billion, a billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everyone, everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this. All right, the honorable, the honorable judge, Bumbleton proceeding. All right, case number four four seven five, Superior Court of New York. Barry B. Benson v. The Honey Industry is now in session. Mr. Montegromi, you're, pre- you're representing the five food companies for collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're pre- representing all the beasts of your world. I'm kidding. Yes, your honor. We're ready to proceed. <sighs> Excuse me. Mr. Montagrimini, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on the farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in topsy-turvy world of Mr. Benson's imagines, just think of what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. I was, gonna, I was about to say something else. <laughs> Talking the, how do we know this is some sort of holographic motion-sized picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams. Robotics, ventriloquism, cloning, for all we know. He could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think that they can take it from us. Because we're the little guys, I'm hoping that after all of this is over, you'll see how, by taking our honey, you could not, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. That was so dramatic. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Claus, Van, Van der Hayden. Of Honey Farms, a big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Honoran. 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 Sorry. I suppose so. Oh, wait. I just read it. 35 minutes. Actually, no. 32 minutes. Yes, they provide beekeepers for farms. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no. Because you don't free bees, you keep you you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appro- appropriate image for a jar of honey. They are very lovable creatures. Yogi, bear, fuzzy bear, build a bear. You mean like this? B- bear kill bear kill bears kill bees. How do you like How do you like his head crashing through your living room? Biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows. Three fourths in. I mean, one third in. Two thirds in, actually. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a brand called The Police. The Police? But you have never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so, here we have yet another example of beat culture casually stolen by another human. By a human. I'm so itchy. For nothing more than a prince about stage name. Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 9.39 p.m. I'm sleepy. For nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say Mr. Gordon, Mr. Summer? M. Summer. Mr. Mr. Gordon M. Summer, my bad. That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leona first. Belated congratulations on your Emmy wins for the guest spot on ER in 2000... That's so long ago. 2005. Thank you. Thank you. I see from your resume that you are deliv- devilishly handsome. Oh, you're hot as fuck. My bad, I swear. With training inner turmoil, that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But this... But is this what it come? Is this what it's come to, to for you? 
exploiting tiny helpless beasts so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. Blow what? Oh, no. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on the creep and we could all go home? Order this court. You're all thinking it. Order. Order, I say. Say it. Mr. Loyota, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little up. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I could... So I hear you're quite the tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself, but the ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit, right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't a really special isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We haven't that in common. Do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the credit out. This is that's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your laser for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old, the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it. Had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma Mia. <laughs> Here we go again. That's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something sticks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you get the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing chapstick hat. This is pathetic. This is pathetic, Samantha. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No. But there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt, ni no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's a gotten aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. Ken and I, wrong grammar writer. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well, are you okay for that trial? I believe Mr. Montecromi has is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You could, r you can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah, Leighton, you've got to weave some magic. Someone messaged me. With this jury, or it's all gonna be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around. It's to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson, B. I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. Oh, jeez. All like to know. What exactly is your rel relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little pet bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen bee give birth to all bee children? <laughs> yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry, yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an, you are, you're an illegitimate, illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. That's venom. The venom is cursing through my veins. I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They are striped. Sa they are striped savages. Stinging the only thing they know is the is their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to stalk the poison? From my weaving, my from my heaving buttocks. Oh jeez. 
I will have order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees. Yesterday, when one of their legal teams stung Leighton T. Montgomery, I'm still recording. Forty minutes now. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there pain? Is there much pain? Yeah, I I blew the whole case in an eye. It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd better uh, I'd better off dead. Look at me. They all got from they all got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Oh look, there's a little celery on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all all adrenaline and then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm so sorry. I flew in. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. Excuse me. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. Doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close the window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking! That's it. That's our case. It is not it is not over. Get dressed. I've gotta go somewhere. Get back to our courts and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flayman. Yes, yes, your honor. Where's the rest of your team? Well, your honor, it's in interesting. Bees are trained to fly a hap hard hazardly and as a result we don't make a very good time i actually heard a funny story about your honor haven't you seen these ridiculous bugs taking up enough of this court's valuable time they have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run a re who run legitimate businesses i move for a complete dismissal of this entire case mr flayman i'm afraid i'm going to have to consider Mr. Montegrami's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? Show me that. Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. You want the smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What's this? This is a little harmless. This is a harmless little contraption. This couldn't hurt a bee. This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look what has just happened. To bees who have never been asked smoking or not. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to smoking machines and man-made wooden slat word camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to a white man? That's Joe Biden. I hope Joe Biden wins. All Trump sucks. What are we gonna do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free the bees. 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 Free the, bees. the court finds in favors of the bees. Bees? Who was that? I just, I just choked on my throat. Vanessa, we won. I know you could do it. High five. Sorry, I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey we will finally belong to, will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work t so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? I'm three fourths of the way done. My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. Oh, jeez, put some pants on. What if Montegrammy is right? What do you mean? We've been living the B way along 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. That what will you demand as a settlement? Excuse me. First, we'll have to demand a complete shutdown of all B work camps. Then we want back the honey. That was ours to begin with. Every last drop, we demand to an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait out for my signal. Take him out. He'll have nauseous for a few hours, then he'll be fine. And will no longer tolerate tolerate B negative nicknames. But it's just the prance about stage names. Forty five minutes in. 44 minutes in, actually. Unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products and la damn the human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Oh, George Floyd. Bring it in, boys. Brit boys. Hold it there, good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down. We shut down the honey production. Stop making honey! Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball! 
Rashad Khani production, Mission Abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out there celebrating? Their home, coronavirus. They don't know what to do laying out sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl is on his was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think so. What if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. It. This is my new desk. This is my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It amazes people. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't, you don't have an idea what's going on, do you? What did this... What did you want this to show me? This. What happened here? That's not the half of it. Oh, oh no. Oh my. We're all writing. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. I'm gonna drink more water. This is my third water break. Sure love water. B water. Oh, that's gross. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just defi it's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That was a whole SAT test right there. Take away pro pro take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then of course the human species. So if there's no more pollination it could just go all south here. I know it's also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you st and you step on me, that just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, sorry, but I gotta get going. I had my mouth open to talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? 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 Vanessa! Roses? Berry? Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know. That's why this is the per last parade. Excuse me. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is not a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you. With the flower shop, I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea. And it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright. They have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee plant and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back in here and what we've got. Bees. Park. Poland. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business, it's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Oh, jeez. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just picked the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe that I'm the pea. The pea. It goes under the mattresses. Uh, not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that, the whole parade is fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we'll do is blend in with, in with traffic, with arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop, security. You and your insect pack just float? You and your insect pack. You and your insect pack your float? Yes. Has it been in your possession this entire time? Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger? It's part of me. I know, just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. And if we're lucky, we'll have just enough Poland to do the job. Can you just believe how lucky we are? We have just enough Poland to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we have... It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Anthony Trash. Barry. There are cut flowers with no water. They'll never... They will never make it. I gotta get up here... Up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order talking in inf 
complete the bowl, notice an ear hair trim trimmer. Matthew, you're trash. This is not part of the script, by the way. I'm just calling Matthew trash. And Anthony. And Scott. <laughs> Captain, I'm in a real situation. What you say, huh, Hall? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an, I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would miss a Vanessa Bloom in 24B. Please report to the, to the cockpit. And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dustbuster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. Once bald, once in a boat, they're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is JFK controlled. Oh. This is JFK controlled fla uh, tower. F Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Blue. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious so and so is the co, co pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry. 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 Barry Benson. A flight is about to fly. A bee's about to fly a plane. From the honey trial, oh great, Vanessa, there's nothing more than a big battle bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines, I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Tra Travolata a pilot? Yes, how hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're heading through some uh, lighting. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late, we have some late breaking news from JFK Air Airport. Where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with flowers, with people flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers, we have a storm in the area and two individuals at c the controls. With absolutely no flight experience, just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account compadres. Comp 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 They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. The wings are too full, or, or the wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface of the wings and the mass of the body make no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work is maybe a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about the small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized. To us, to everyone, that's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's no way. That's the bee way. We're not made of, we're not made of jello. We... We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Hover? Forget hover. <sighs> 52 minutes. This is so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me, and now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. Yeah, no crap, dude. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Let move out, move it out, move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do, you copy me with the wings off the plane. I don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're not in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that p panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Ha! <gasps> <sighs> Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How's the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Alright, let's drop this tin can on the black stop on the black top. Where? I can't see anything, can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, think thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute, I'm thinking I think I'm feeling something. But I don't know it's Strong pulling me like a 27 million year old inst uh, instinct brings the nose down. Thinking be, thinking be, thinking be. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking be, thinking be, thinking be. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay, yeah. I'm really losing my mind. Out the engines. We're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I'm at the giant pulsating flower. Oh my god. Made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate it around. That's insane, Barry. This is the only way I knew how to fly. Am I cuckoo kachu Or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it. Drop it. Drop in, woman. 
Come on, already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No, how you five? Barry, right. Barry, it worked. Do you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I see the giant flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This r runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers any <laughs> available anywhere on Earth. This means that this is our last chance. We are the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? 55 minutes. Are we going to bees or just or just museum of natural history keychains? We are bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here, you've earned this. Yeah, I'm a Poland jock, and it's it's a perfect uh, it's a perfect fit. All you gotta do is, are the sleeves. Oh yeah, that's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here, here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It's bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese. It's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate would help, will, will help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already blood-sucking parasite. All I need was a briefcase. All you need was a, a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I hope who's next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You have got to th start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B, me? Hold it, let's just stop for a second. Hold it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right, take 10 everybody, wrap it up guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. I did it. I did it. I, I just, how, how many characters is this? I just read how many words, not characters. I just read 13,767 words. How many words does an average 13 year old say? Not 13, no wait, not average boy say. Okay. An average male, an average male speaks around two thousand words per day, and I just read thirteen thousand seven hundred sixty-seven words. Okay, <sighs> I just finished the VMV script, and I'm extremely, I'm, my brain's gonna explode. Okay, bye.